Unit one, lesson five of geometry. Let us dive right in. We are talking about angle relationships. We're going to hit some vocabulary. Then we're going to do an example utilizing some of that vocabulary. And then that's it. So we're going to start by defining adjacent angles. And actually, I'm not going to do it that way. If you already wrote it that way in pen, sorry about your life. It's going to be okay. It's why you shouldn't do not... Notes and pen and math class. Sorry to ruin your life. Sometimes it happens, though. It's going to be okay. So we're going to look at adjacent angles. Adjacent. Adjacent angles. If you haven't figured out already, this is how I like to abbreviate the word angles. Right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's kind of an official abbreviation and kind of not. But that's how I usually roll. So adjacent angles, the word adjacent means next to. And so making sense, adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other. So if we label this as, let's, let's do, if we label this as angle one and angle two, then we could say that angle one is adjacent to angle two. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There it is. No big deal. Right next to them. Okay. We already looked at some kind of an example of a couple of adjacent angles, a more specific one in our last lesson talking about angle bisectors. Angle bisectors have two adjacent angles that are congruent. Mind flown. Okay. The next type of Oops. The next thing that we're going to define is a linear pair. What does the word linear mean? Well, it means a function or a thing that makes a line. So this is a pair of things on a line. That should kind of give us a hint as to what's going down here. Right? So a linear pair is adjacent angles that have that one edge of the angle is on the same line. So it's it's um, a couple of adjacent angles. One of their rays both share a vertex and are opposite angles, right? So we did angles one and two last time. Let's do angles three and four this time. So angles three and four form a linear pair. Now this is important. If two angles form a linear pair, the degree measure of an entire straight line, in case you didn't know, is 180 degrees. So it stands to reason that a linear pair adds up to 180 degrees. So if we were to look at this kind of example, kind of, and we were to kind of write that out, then we would say the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four is 180 degrees. We haven't written this definition in there yet, but we could say that they are supplementary, which we're going to define here in just a second. Linear. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just preview this so it's in your notes. We'll define the word supplementary in a second, but they are supplementary. Linear pair angles are supplementary. Does that have two P's in the word supplementary? Yes, it does. P-A-R-Y. It's running out of space. Kind of worked out. No, no big deal. So the next one that we wanted to find, linear pairs are going to show up all over geometry, by the way. This, this is one that you need to know, and you need to know the fact that they add up to 180. This needs to be stuck in the brain cells. Okay, so the next one we're going to define is vertical angles, which that one... If you're just, if I was to ask you to define a vertical angle, that's harder to do uh, than it is in um, than linear pair vertical angles because they're not always vertical because vertical means up and down, right? But vertical pair, vertical angle, not vertical pair, but vertical angles are not always vertical. I, I'll show you what I mean once I finish. Get, uh, not distracting myself and finish writing these two words. So 
we're going to use this picture to describe vertical angles. So we've got a couple of lines here intersecting at this point. We're going to label our our angles on here let's so that in case you're taking all these notes on a single page we can kind of keep it all separate so we're going to label these as angle five six seven and eight so there are two pairs of vertical angles in this picture angle six and angle eight are vertical angles are vert angles okay and angle five and angle six no <laughs> lies angle seven are vertical angles right so in case this needs to be spelled out for you, in case you haven't figured it out, it's not trying to insult your intelligence, but you never know who's going to end up watching these videos. I want to make sure it's clear as mud. They're basically angles that are across from each other on these points, right? So that's what we're talking about. So those, those angles are across from each other. So if we have a couple of triangles like this, which we're going to see a lot later, these angles are vertical angles, which is very important for when we start talking about um, uh, congruent triangles and all kinds of things like that. Um, yeah, there it is. Let's see. There are... Oh, yeah, before I move on. Vertical angles, supplementary angles have the relationship that they are... Supple excuse me, linear pairs have the relationship that they are supplementary, which we'll define here in just a second. They, and we basically have already defined it. Spoilers, sorry. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Um, and so linear pairs are supplementary. Vertical angles, you may be able to tell just kind of looking at this example, vertical angles are congruent. That is how they are related. So in this particular picture, angle six is congruent to angle eight. Angle five is congruent to angle seven. If they are congruent this way and this way, then we've got a perpendicular, we've got perpendicular lines because they're all going to be 90. Magical, magical, magical. Okay, so next, last two things. And we're going to put these on the same, I'm going to put these on the same screen because I like to show this way of remembering them that I learned from a special education teacher and I really like it. And so I've used it ever since. So there are two other kind of special angle relationships. The first one is complementary angles. Mentary angles. And then the next one is supplementary angles, which we already have kind of talked about, right? Supplementary. There we go. Angles. <gasps> wow, I did it. I'm so proud of me. So supplementary angles add up to their sum is 180 degrees. Two angles that add up. They don't have to be a linear pair. So like if we have, say, this angle... That is, we'll say this is 35 degrees. And then we have another angle over here that is the an obtuse one. And this one, let's say, is 115 degrees. Those two angles are supplementary because they add up to 180. So they don't have to actually be a linear pair. They can be separate and spaced out and whatever. But linear pairs are also supplementary right did i do that math right i feel like i'm yeah no i did it right i i did that quick math in my head so complementary angles their sum is 90 degrees 90 degrees okay and so again they don't have to be right next to each other we could have an angle like this which we could say is 40 degrees. And then we could have another angle and I'm drawing them like kind of in line because it's easier for me to draw them that way. Uh, 
this would actually be something like this, maybe ish. I don't know, something like that. And so then this one could be, what would that be? That would be 50 degrees, which I clearly drew this wrong, but I wrote it. So it's true. That'll work. So those, so they don't have to be stuck together. They don't have to be like this. It's not a linear pair. It's like a complementary pair. So the space I added on the bottom, now that I'm done distracting myself with silliness, is what I learned from a special education teacher. And that is a way to keep these two separate. And I love it. It's super great. And so let me show it to you guys. So complementary, the word complementary starts with a C, right? So draw a C for complementary. And then whoosh, whoosh, 90 degrees. <gasps> wow. C to 90. Complementary, 90 degrees. Now supplementary, we can do a similar thing. Supplementary starts with an S. And I bet you can see where this is going because we can turn that into an 8 and make it 180 degrees degrees so supplementary angles equal 180 i love it. it's a great way to remember it if you have an auditory memory uh or whatever a strongly auditory memory then you probably don't even need that but if you have more of a visual memory or even a kinesthetic memory that may help you so there you go you are welcome we are going to look at a single example so let's kill that, bring that up, give me another layer to write on. We're going to find X and Y so that line PR, so that's this guy right here, PR and SQ, so that's this one right here, are perpendicular. So we it doesn't tell us. There's no little marks that says that supplement, that's excuse me, that's a 90 degree. That is it that which would make these perpendicular. That's not on there, so it's not given. But we are supposed to pretend like it is true and then find X and Y. And then it says if PR and SQ are perpendicular, that is what this symbol means. I forgot to go and add these are lines of line PR and line SQ are perpendicular. If PR is perpendicular to SQ, then they, so this is basically just defining that thing. I also forgot to put degree measures on there. And I even know how to do that with the keyboard. SMH. SMH. It's okay. So that tells us that if these are perpendicular, then all perpendicular, all perpendicular angles are congruent, which means that this guy is congruent to that guy. It also tells us that angle by angle addition, like what we did before, that these two add up to 90. So this is so we've been doing mostly equations where you set one thing equal to another. Well, this is another type where, see, these two have the same variable, right? So we can say that 2x plus 5x plus 6 equals 90. So instead of setting this equal to that, we say their sum equals 90. This is another super common problem type that we're going to see over and over and over again this whole year. So now we've got an easy baby equation. It's no problem to solve, right? No big deal. We're just going to combine like terms. We may as well, well, since we're keeping it neat, we're in geometry, not algebra one, we may as well go ahead and also subtract six from both sides we're keeping it nice and neat and organized keeping it a keeping it real keeping it 100 who knows how well that'll age we shall see it's already old at this point but it's okay 90 minus 6 is 84 so we need to get rid of that 7 by dividing both sides by 7 divide both sides by 7 and so x ends up equaling 12. So that gives us x. So that's one piece of that puzzle. Now we need to find y. I, I should have written smaller. Sorry, this is going to make our other part of this a little bit smushed. I apologize. Because what we end up with here is because we, we end up with, with needing... Oh, just kidding. It's actually easier than I thought. It's actually not going to take up a ton of space because... This, if this is per, if these two lines are perpendicular, then that's 90. So we can just say this right here equals 90 to solve for y. That's super easy peasy. I was thinking it was going to be way more complicated than it was. It's not. All we have to do to get y is say 4y minus 
equals 90. Now we can add two to both sides, plus two, plus two, those cancel, leaving us with four y on the left side equals nine plus two is 11, interesting. What did I do? Oh, I did something totally wrong. Did you guys catch it? Let me know in the comments if you got it before I did. <laughs> what a goofy mistake. Equals 90, which means that that is not, in fact, 11. It's 92, which is going to help us out because that's got a whole number. I was, I was going to be surprised that we ended up with a fraction. Oops answer but we don't because when we divide four off of this we end up with y equals 23 easy peasy lemon squeezy there we go that's that one we'll see you for the next one if you're one of my students don't forget to do your homework see you in class you're awesome if you're not one of my students thanks for joining us we will see you in this i hope this has been these videos are being helpful to you let us know in the comments if we can help you in any of their ways with your math your science or general homeschool knowledge thanks for liking commenting and subscribing have a wonderful day